Stitch Sprouts is proud to present Technique Tuesday, your weekly source of knitting and crochet tips and tricks. So I'm going to show you how to wind a center pull ball. Especially, this was a center pull ball, but it um, kind of falls apart as you're knitting or your mid-project. So I'm going to show you how to wind a center pull ball by hand. So to begin with, we're going to just start with the end. Now this end might be attached to your project, like if you're knitting, and that's okay. You would just kind of hold this back, attach to your knitting, and start here. But if you have the end, that's fine. Just gonna hold that in your hands. And then we're just gonna start with our two fingers and hold them and start wrapping our yarn like this. So I'm just gonna wrap around a couple times like this, and then I'm gonna slide this off. And keeping that center, I'm gonna put my thumb into the center like this. And then I'm gonna keep holding this tail back here. Okay, so I have yarn on my thumb and holding the tail back. Now if this is attached to the project, you would just keep this um, back. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my yarn and wrap it around in kind of a diagonal, okay, for a little bit, and then I'm going to spin the yarn on my thumb, just like about a quarter of a turn, and then wrap some more and spin the yarn. Wrap some more and spin the yarn. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a couple of times, and as the yarn unravels, and I'm just gonna keep doing this. It doesn't have to be neat. And as I go, the yarn end is gonna start to kind of wind around my thumb, but you're just gonna kind of ignore that. And eventually it's gonna close up the end. See how the end of my thumb is gonna start to get hidden? Wrap and turn. Wrap and turn. Wrap and turn, wrap, and turn, wrap, and turn. After a little bit, what will happen is the ball will be secure enough that you would be able to take your thumb out, okay? So that this tail um, can be released and you should be able to put your thumb back in, okay? And then, the bottom has closed up, okay? And then what you wanna do is just keep turning. So wrap a couple of times, turn. Wrap, turn. Wrap, turn. Okay? So I don't wrap a whole lot. I don't like wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. I just wrap, you know, this is bulky yarn, so I'm only wrapping about four or five times. Um, if you're doing fingering weight, you could wrap probably like 10 times. You know, so it just depends on the weight of yarn, how many times you wanna wrap before you start turning. If you wrap too many times in one spot, what happens is it starts to bulk up that one area too much. So you really wanna kind of keep it moving. If you think about a ball winder, it's like constantly moving it. And as you get to the end, what I like to do is just wrap it around the center a few times and tuck in the end. And then what will happen is you have this nice center pull ball. And the end that you had started with just comes right out of the middle. And you can do this, like I said, if you're in the middle of a project, you can rewind your center pull ball so that it stays nice and tidy right in the middle of your project. Thank you for joining us for this Technique Tuesday. If you have any questions about this video or if you want to suggest other techniques for us to demo, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Stitch Sprouts.